What's up everyone? In this video, I wanna share with you my EDC or everyday carry as a creative. So first things first is what I use to carry all my items and my kind of daily driver backpack. It's the Peak Design Travel Backpack in the 30 liter size, which is the smaller one. I have the bigger one as well for just like longer day trips or if I'm going on a shoot or if I'm traveling far, I need to bring a ton of gear. But Peak Design products are high quality. Honestly, some of the other ones I've had from Peak Design, which I still have, uh, several of their bags have lasted literally like three or four years now and they're still going strong and I don't plan on replacing them anytime soon. I just dig to this colorway a lot and just everything I own is black as you'll see in this video. So this was a nice little way to switch things up and I just love how the backpack is really well thought out, tons of pockets, really comfortable to wear and it fits all my gear nicely. Now this is the Lark Bottle Filtered. This filter cap uses something called the Nano Zero filtration technology, which essentially means that when drinking water out of this cap, it will filter out harmful pollutants and remove things like lead, heavy metals, and chlorine. Now, the cap also includes a built-in straw, which is super easy to use and it's low pressure. Now, going even one step further to purify and clean your water, Lark also has another bottle cap called PureViz. Now, this, these caps can be interchangeable or used together. This cap is a little different uh, from the filtered cap because it uses UVC light technology to remove bacteria within your water. So we're talking about those really, really microscopic things that might be floating in your water that could be harmful and that you don't want to consume. So how it works is you press the button on the cap and you see a blue ring start to light up for about 60 seconds. Now this is an indicator that the water is being purified and the bottle is being cleaned. It also has a self-cleaning mode that activates every two hours automatically to clean your bottle just in case you forget to press the button. The Pure Viz cap makes drinking out of a reusable bottle much, much cleaner. Now, you can use these two caps together for a two-step purification and filtration system. So let's say you're drinking some potentially sketchy water. You can use the Pure Viz cap first to sanitize the water, then use the filter cap on the go to remove the pollutants as you drink the water. If you travel often or if you drink tap water, the Lark bottle will give you that extra peace of mind that you're putting clean water into your body. This video is sponsored by Lark, so thank you Lark for supporting the channel. But as you guys know, I don't like to talk about products unless I genuinely find them interesting or I actually use them. And I've been testing this Lark bottle over the last few weeks and months, and I genuinely love this product. Now, the next item is this Orbit Key Key Organizer. Uh, it keeps all my keys all in one place and organized and not jingling. If you're like me, I hate all the jingling sounds that come from keys that are typically just on a ring. And so this keeps them nice and tidy and also the build quality and just the craftsmanship behind the Orbit Keys products, especially their key organizers is pretty fire. I typically use my organizer with their ring and also clip setup. So it's easy to uh, go on and off my you know, belt loop or my backpack. And so yeah, solid product if you're looking to carry your keys in a very minimal and functional way. Now, obviously part of my everyday carry is my wallet. I, I just been using this one for a while. My wife got me this. This is the secret, secret. I don't even know how to pronounce it properly, but this is a wallet I've been using for a long time. It's one of the push button ones where the card comes out. Currently it's holding, let's see, five cards. And I have a few other slots in here to hold some other cards. Total, it's probably holding about eight to nine cards. Uh, there's not really a spot, like a good functional spot for cash. And this little like pocket thing they got for holding cash is kind of jank. <laughs> but for some reason, I gravitate towards this all the time over a traditional wallet. I have one, but this is just nice and minimal. And this is oddly satisfying, you know? Just, yeah, I love stuff like that. Now the next item is a little bit unique. Uh, shout out to my friend Tyler Bell. He's a maker, he also has a YouTube channel. He pretty much can make anything from scratch. Uh, go check his channel out. But typically uh, everyone has like a pocket knife of some sort. This is the Maker Knife by Jocko, I believe. Um, I think it's called Planet Atoms now. They went through some branding changes. I bought this during one of their crowdfunding or uh, I think Kickstarters, it was really early on when they were just doing like pre-orders essentially. But yeah, it's a really cool pocket knife that 
slides out with a little ring. Uh, also one of those oddly satisfying things. And it's really industrial looking. I think they actually are having another batch of orders you can go buy now. I'll link it down below. It's not sponsored by them or anything. This is something that I've just been using for probably two to three years now. And yeah, it hasn't failed me yet. I just use it to cut boxes, um, little tiny things here and there throughout my day. Man, I just love these little things that just so addicting. <laughs> now this next product is the Tech Pouch by Peak Design. No joke guys, I have tried other pouches in the past, but this pouch, I don't know, it just works. I've had this pouch for literally three or four years, I think, and it extends, it expands to fit everything. I've literally fit so much stuff in here when I'm traveling, especially for work with cables. I've even fit a small point and shoot camera in here. Um, it pairs well with all the Peak Design bags that I have, especially this travel backpack um, that I've been using. And typically when I'm out, I just plop this tech pouch right next to me and I have all my cables and things in them. Now what I put in it kind of changes depending on the day, but overall really solid build quality. And honestly, I don't want to over speak on this. It's literally a pouch, but it's reliable. It's black. All right, we're gonna go into some of my everyday tech pieces or the bigger items that I typically use to get work or document life. And right now, this is the Fuji X100V. Um, as you guys know, I do content creation for work full time. Now, I wanted a point and shoot that I could use to document the small moments of life, but also just get some quick BTS shots when I'm on set for some of my client work but this camera literally blew me away when I first got it. There's a little bit of a learning curve just to get all the settings and stuff dialed in because it's so much customizability, but this is my favorite camera to date. And I have tried a ton of different cameras like Canon, Sony, uh, not Nikon, cause that's a potato, but this literally is one of the best cameras that I've ever used. It shoots 4K video. Granted, I don't use it for video pretty much ever. I just use it strictly for photography. I love the aesthetic of the camera as well. Like it looks like an older retro film camera. I'll throw up some photos that I've got with this camera, but yeah, I won't go into technical specs. If you guys wanna see my actual thoughts on why I love this camera and how I use it, maybe do like a little walk around when I go around the city or when I'm trying to document something, I can share my thoughts on this camera. Uh, more in depth, but I really love this camera and I take it with me pretty much everywhere. Uh, maybe not every day, but I pretty much take it everywhere on travels or if anything's happening uh, that's exciting in a given day, I will bring this camera with me. Now my next uh, everyday item is gonna be my laptop or how I work when I leave the house and I'm not at my main desktop setup. So this one is the MacBook uh, 14 inch MacBook Pro. The reason why I got the 14 inch is because I've had a 16 inch in the past. And for me personally, it was just a touch too big. Now you have to get the laptop size that fits your needs. For me, the 16 inch was just a little big, especially when I was traveling. Uh, your boy is still riding economy. And so when I'm sitting in economy on the plane and I get that little tray out, the 16 inch is just too big. Like I feel, cramped and of course the screen real estate is nice, but I'm kind of bumping elbows with everyone, especially if I have drives, forget it. Like it's just too big for me. And I don't really find myself editing on that station alone. Most of my heavy lifting work is done at my desktop. So I wanted to switch it up a bit and got a 14 inch. It is a touch small for like video editing and just like really important tasks uh, when it comes to content creation, but it's good enough. It's good enough and I would rather have the size, uh, practicality and convenience over like the screen real estate. Cause I can still get everything done on here. And obviously with it being the new um, M1 chip, it's super fast, cuts through all my footage, like nothing like butter. And now if I'm working out of the house and I don't really need a laptop necessarily, like I'm not gonna be doing any kind of major photo editing or video editing. I just don't need anything program intensive. I just need to take a couple notes or maybe surf the web a bit, I'm taking my iPad. Um, this is the iPad Pro uh, 11 inch. It's uh, something that I've been using 
More and more, I honestly don't use my iPad as frequently as I thought I would have, um, but it's great just for when I don't need to use my laptop <laughs> or if I just want to keep a smaller footprint. So for me, uh, I typically use it for notes or browsing. Uh, this case that I'm using is by Logitech. This is their Logitech Combo Touch case. I did a lot of research on cases when I was looking for an iPad case. And this one in particular just spoke to me because the keyboard is removable, which is nice. It also has a kickstand, so you're able to plop it down and just use it without the keyboard. And it wasn't, I don't know, it was hard to find cases where the, the keyboard was removable and you could stow it away in the back and just use it like a tablet or just remove it all together and ones that also had a way to like prop it up. Um, I feel like that isn't too much to ask for, but Logitech just got it right with this case. So I would highly recommend it if you're looking for a case. Now the next product, I had to take off the backpack in the back because that's what I was using to hang it on the rack. But this is the Hero Clip. There are a lot of times when I need to hang my backpack or anything when I'm using the bathroom, like in a stall or let's say on a chair. So this clip is cool because it's like a traditional carabiner. Uh, but the thing what's awesome about it is that it actually extends out and turns into like this hook. So you can hook it onto stuff and hang a backpack, a bag, whatever you need to hang on any pretty much surface that has a ledge or a rod. And yeah, this is an oddly useful tool that I've been using for a really long time, probably two years or three years now. Everything I talked about in this video will be linked down below. Uh, if you wanna check it out, no pressure, but I know how these EDC videos go because I watch them all the time and I binge on them. So if you wanna check some of the stuff out or where it's located or how to get it, I'll link it down below. And if you guys have any questions about specific products, um, that were in this video, uh, comment down below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And yeah, thanks for watching. Hit that like, subscribe, bing bada boom. And yeah, see you guys next one. Peace.